Good evening and welcome back once again. So this is the second leg in the Champions League match of the knockout stages against Istanbul Basakşehir. We won in the first leg. Let's see how we get on in the second. Of course, back at home for the second leg. Quite a number of changes. There's a few players that one down with red, some tired bodies. So again, made some changes. As you can see, Mandanda in goal there. Schubert was on a downward red, I think. Or it might be in the downward orange. Yeah, as always, want to get a win. You can see that we won 4-1 in the first leg. So it should be relatively straightforward. Vieira. Oh, what a finish from Vieira. And what a start to the match. Really nice work from DRB down the right. But one touch from Vieira and like an arrow into the corner. Look at this for a finish. I really love Vieira scoring. Um, just I've got a soft spot for him he's definitely one of my favorite players just because like i said there's Vieira and herrera were the first players that we ever bought um for this squad so they're always gonna have a you know that special oh here's diaby <laughs> and it's two in off the post lovely little play from martinelli there See here, I thought we just overshot it a little bit with this pass. Wonderful finish. Well, what a quick start. Six minutes in. get these games sometimes it's just weird sometimes how it works a little bit of a sloppy pass there Mariba back in as well he was been he's been fantastic uh, the past few weeks Just trying to get there. Uh, just couldn't quite get through. Here's Castro. Job here with acres of space. Now Debushi. Herrera. Castro. I just turned the wrong way there. Castro is so good at that turning shot, but he just turned into where the, the uh, defender had moved to. And again, a really nice pass to Yorby. Lots of space there. Oh, it just deflects off the defender, otherwise Martinelli was in there. And Mariba gets pushed off the ball. Got a block for Mandanda. I had to time it well to bring him out. Poor defending to leave that uh, gap. Good 
save. Again, poor defending. That should be our throw. Well, Mandanda doing well in the past few minutes. He's uh, certainly not a perfect keeper. He has some some strange moments, but he stopped uh, a couple of chances there. On Ellie now. Now Castro. Back to Diaby. Back to Castro. Oh. Should have scored. Maybe had time to take another touch. Possibly. Herrera. Oh, that was uh, dipping like crazy there. Not on target, but I think the keeper would have been struggling if it was. going on the ball is bouncing everywhere oh, that's a poor pass just get it out from under our feet yeah that's better Castro, and there it is, 3-0. Great movement from the players there. Passing out to be quick. Lots of one and two touches, nice flick there. And it's that first touch from Castro that brings it away from the defender. You see it here, and he smashes it in the net past the keeper. That's what Castro is so good at. It's that first touch when he receives a pass, when he's around the edge of the box sort of area. That first touch, he always tends to take it away from the defender. And he's got such a good finish. Just trademark there. Again, a bit of sloppy passing, which has uh, been occurring a little bit in the last... Well, 10 to 15 minutes of the half. There it is, half time. Very comfortable. And strangely, just looking at the stats, we only had five attempts on goal and we scored three of them. Four of them on target. Um, I think we, we got that quick start and then sort of struggled a little bit, went a little bit scrappy. Mandana did pull off a couple of good sort of saves. Oh, really nice pass to Diaby there. Oh, what a finish. What a goal. This pass, though, from Castro. Inch perfect. The weight on it. Diaby takes one touch top corner, the only place he could really beat the keeper because that just gets there side foots it in the top of the roof of the net there what a goal absolutely perfect, like inch perfect with the pass and inch perfect with the finish they're the sort of things that you could try that 10 times and it wouldn't come off. Good tackle from Mog Bonnet. And bringing it forward too. Still going. Still going. Straight to the keeper. Well, he had to have a shot, didn't he, after that run? Uh, 
Uh, I was just going to say good tackle. Referee, uh, has other thoughts on that one. Really nice header. Oh, and Evan saw Diabia to really poor pass. It was a difficult one to pull off, especially for a centre back, you know. But he has he had acres of space. Here's Mariba now. Mariba. It's Castro. Ah, I just couldn't the defender just got in the way. Herrera, ah, way over. We'll make some subs now. So we are going to bring on Carlos Perez for Diaby and take off Fabio Vieira for Gedson. Granfis is going to come on for Costini just to give him a little bit of a game time. And Carlos Perez will take the armband. It's been a very good game for Vieira and Diaby. that uh, getting the early goal always helps that's not really to anywhere so we'll let that one go off got a bit of space on the uh, on the right there for Debussy well Gronkvist's first uh, pass wasn't great not great at all, in fact. <sighs> yep, nearly cost us a goal. That wasn't really a bonus fault. The pass was terrible and he was cornered. Nice play there for Martinelli. Oh, Castro Nelly with a perfect ball. Now Mariba. That's a terrible tackle. Yeah, that is worthy of a yellow. Would have been nice to play on. I had the ball. Is that rare? No more Nelly. Nelly gets fouled. And again. There's Marie Bet. <sighs> So we're trying to turn back a little bit, maybe the wrong decision. Putting good pressure on. Castro. Oh, nice ball to Perez, maybe a little bit too hard. Perez. Good save. Perez is one of the early buys that we had in this squad in that first season. Oh, I think it was in the first season. I'm sure it was. It's not Nelly now. Now Castro. Oh, Gedson should have done better there. It was a perfect pass into his path. Should have just taken the shot, I think. That's a clear up man down there. Well done. Oops, sorry, that was my uh, table there. <laughs> Mortnelli. Now Mariba. Nice ball to Perez. Just again a little bit behind him. Martinelli now. <sighs> Still keeping the pressure up. Perez. Oh. How hasn't Perez? He's been involved so much since he's come on. He's been lucky not to have got a goal. Oh, Herrera. Perez again. Ah, 
Perez offside. De Pushy was getting fouled all over the place there. When he finally got free, Perez was offside. He's getting his shirt pulled. But it's 4-0 on the night. Let me have one more chance yet. Oh, that is a terrible tackle. Unfortunately, it's just outside the box. Oh, no, it's not. It's a Belny. Well, Ruben Castro has got to take this. Ah, top right corner. What an emphatic strike. You can see the foul here. I thought that oh, it still looks outside to me. Great penalty though. Look at that top right corner. Of course, there was no pressure on it. We've already won the game. Five nil now. Nine one on aggregate. There it is. Brilliant. Over the two legs. DRB getting man of the match. I don't disagree. I mean, Vieira getting a seven. Martinelli. Castro getting a seven. Carlos Perez did really well when he came on. A bit unlucky not to get a goal. But yeah, I wouldn't disagree with DRB getting that 7.5 and man of the match. And as you can see, the quarterfinal draw has been made for the Champions League. But probably got the easiest of the teams that we could have got by Leverkusen. Still a very good squad, but we've missed out on the two Madrids. Bayern Munich, PSC, Chelsea, Liverpool. Probably have got the easier of the draws. And the next match is back in the league against Sporting de Gijon. Then we've got that Copa del Rey semi-final against Real Madrid. Then the Champions League first leg away to Leverkusen. So some massive matches coming up. Join us for those. Hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.